Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen here with Sports Choice Plus. I'm in your very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering the Denver Broncos taking on the Seattle Seahawks. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates and all the breakdowns. Without further ado, let's get right into it. This game takes on a whole new meaning because there's no Russell Wilson there. I know that um, people were looking forward to this possibly being the reunion game where Russell Wilson goes back to Seattle and has his big triumph return. Um, and, you know, it doesn't look like it's going to be the same kind of feel. The Seattle Seahawks have essentially moved on. So have the Denver Broncos. The new era of, of Denver Broncos is here. It looks like Bo Nix is essentially going to be your starter, rookie starter for Sean Payton. And, and there's been a lot of rave reviews about him. Seattle has a new coaching staff. You know, they've got rid of Pete Carroll. And you got to think that they're buzzing about everything that's going on in Seattle from the new defensive scheme to the new players. Geno Smith, Metcalf. Uh, uh, Lockett, they've got a lot of guys that are, are pumped, that are playing well through preseason, that have had a good offseason of work, of good tape during preseason, and them just playing and being faster and physical. Seattle's coming into this game trying to make a statement. They want to make a statement to the 49ers and everybody else in the NFC West that they're here and they're no longer going to just stand by and do whatever. There's a lot of different animosity built up, and you've seen the Seahawks fight a lot this offseason, fighting different teams in preseason, fighting different players in practice. They're just built up in the animosity for them to get on the football field and fight other people. I think it's going to bode well for them in actual games. I think that they have to quell some of that physicality, and you can see them actually having success against teams in the NFL because they're just a physical gifted bunch. When you look at the likes of them having defensive tackle, can that essentially run a 4-5, 4-4? And them having 290, 300 pounders that are doing the same thing. So you got to think from the standpoint, they're physical freaks at different positions. They have the flexibility of having athletes play different positions. So you got to think the defensive front is going to be the thing that leads the way. I think the offense is going to take a little time to actually find themselves and be the best offense they can be. But from the standpoint, the defense is showing us this offseason that they're a handful to deal with, even in preseason. So I think the Denver Broncos are going to have to bring their A game. I think the Bo Nicks is going to see a lot of different coverages. I think Sean Payton's offense is, is timing, timing, timing. As long as Bo Nicks has the ball where it needs to be, I think they're going to have minimal success against them. But I think that, you know, it's not really any players on there that can take the top off. That's going to really scare the Seattle Seahawks to where they're playing a different coverage. So I think that's going to have something to do with them staying in this football game. I think Seattle has the advantage in this one. I think Bo Nix is going to have a truly good career, but I think it's going to be a tough one to start the season. So with the defensive pressure that Seattle can bring and also the offensive onslaught that can come behind that, I think it's just going to be a tough day for Denver. I'm picking Seattle to win this one with the new look defense and new look offense. Uh, all you Denver Broncos fans, all you Seattle Seahawks fans, get in the comment section below. Definitely check out Sports Choice Plus, and we'll see you on the very next episode.